So I've got an opportunity to be part of two C groups here, Prodigy and Financial Peace University. And we created a strong personal relationship with all the members in the group. And when we were in both groups, we asked that each group would pray for us over a life-changing decision that Julie and I were about to make. And two days later, that prayer request was answered. And I started a new job. And there's no doubt in our mind that that was an answered prayer. Really be able to open up and, and share with people some of the struggles that you're going through, that not only are you able to you know, get a little bit of something off your chest and also at the same time probably become a little bit closer with the person you're talking to because chances are they've probably gone through a, a similar experience. And not only that, they can also you know, begin to pray for you at the same time. I've seen so many prayer requests answered. When I first started here, I used to um, take in all the prayer requests myself. Every single week, we saw prayers answered. Sometimes people would call me up in the middle of the week and tell me what had happened, and they wouldn't even have realized how many people were praying for them. But um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a, a form of love, it's a form of giving that is so nice to, to have someone else praying for you. Those people are giving, and, and they're connecting with God, so it's a privilege for them but it's also such a benefit for you. I, I encourage everyone to ask for a prayer. God loves it. God wants to hear your prayers and God wants people to be praying for each other. Part of the C group that everybody loves the most is to know that we all bow our heads, we all ask God, we all are in agreement that this prayer be answered, that God, we know it's his will, that it's all good and it's all for him, it's all for his glory. We sit down and pray those prayers and at the end, there's just a kind of a relief in it, and it uh, feels good to, to have said it, and people are always very thankful that we do that in our group. Mary and I both have been in the hospital for a short period of time in the last year, and uh, not only did we get good care at the hospital, but we could actually feel tangible uh, prayers going up on our behalf because people at the church and outside of our church group knew that we were there. And so it's a reality in our lives that we would, we would not ever want to be without somebody praying for us. It's all about the body of Christ, the whole body praying in, in, in synchronized integration for everybody. When I first became a believer, prayer to me was just something I did because I knew I was supposed to do it. Uh, it really changed in my life when my wife had become pregnant and we had gotten some troubling news about our unborn child uh, that he had a cyst growing in his brain. From that point on, we took prayer so seriously. We had tons of people praying for us. Uh, actually, as soon as we found out the news, I called up Pastor Tim on the phone. So he actually called us up in front of the church, placed his hand on my head and my wife's head, and the entire church placed their hands on us and prayed for us. Uh, and that moment, that feeling, felt like an answered prayer right there. I, I can't describe it other than there was just peace from there on out with the whole pregnancy. It was truly, truly amazing. When he was born, they looked for the cyst in his brain and it was absolutely gone. There was no trace of it, no sign of it, nothing. Just absolutely nothing. It was totally fine, perfectly healthy, perfectly normal. When it's something answered like that, it's so big, uh, you don't hesitate to ask for prayer for anything anymore. Here at Love City Church, we consider it an honor and a privilege to be able to communicate directly with our Heavenly Father, not only by giving Him our prayer requests, but also by listening and receiving the truths and the revelations He has for us. Now there's lots of different opportunities you can capitalize on to be a part of this culture of prayer. The first and the easiest way is to go to Connections and to submit a prayer request or a praise. The following weekend, the card will be present at the front of the church a half an hour before each worship experience during our open prayer session. We encourage everyone to come to church a half hour early, to come into the auditorium and to pray over these prayer cards, to pray for your brothers and sisters and to pray for the church as a whole. The final opportunity you can plug into is to come to the house the first Wednesday of every month at 6.30 p.m. At the house, we'll be worshiping together, we'll be studying God's word together, we'll be praying for one another, and we'll be taking communion. So we encourage everyone to come out the first Wednesday of every month for the house. With all of these opportunities, we encourage you to plug into the power of prayer. We want to pray for you.